Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of HBM's Mod. In our last episode, we started setting up all this nonsense with the dirt walls and things. To be honest, I don't know if we're gonna need this at all. And I've been thinking all about these new weapons we can make. So I'm thinking like, how about we use this thing and put it in the center? So that way all of them just crawl right into this thing. And they get burnt. Oh, that is, that is just nasty. I don't know if we should do that. But that's what we're here to talk about. HBM mod got an update. And that update is amazing. So, there's a new thing we can make called an ash box. And what this does is it gives you some fuel back for the fuel you use. See this thing? Only eight stone, two steel, and four iron for an ash pit. And that ash pit is gonna be very, very handy. So I think we'll get one of those on this. And maybe another on that. But I don't know. Because we kind of got to make a chemical plant. Which is our next goal. So let's, let's get the chemical plant done. Let's see what this needs. And it requires circuits. Bunch of stuff. I think we'll make circuits today. I think that's what we'll do. We won't do anything progression related. We'll just get focused on getting some more stuff under these guys. And getting circuits and things. I think that's a good idea. So that way next episode we can actually make the thing. So, of course, I think we're gonna need to make a bunch of steel. Maybe we should get some tools, though. Because we got energy now. Hmm. So this thing right here is a drill. These things aren't very expensive, except... Oh, we can't even get the polymer. <laughs> oh, that's... Well, I guess we need the chemical plant for that. That kind of sucks. Okay, then. Well, as much as I hate to make circuits, it looks like I'm gonna have to make some circuits. And also process this iron, because that is the thing I was... Oh. Oh, we already got iron processing. Well, that's fine. I'll process even more. You can never have too much iron powder. Now let's go ahead and get this thing cooking up a load of steel. Okay, so you could make a hopper for this, which I would recommend if you don't want to lose stuff. But you could also just throw in all the stuff you're using, so like that. And, uh, yeah, call it a day. Now, as you can see, well, I just ruined it, but as you can see, we already got iron in there, because if you throw it in the top, it technically counts as being inside there and cooking. Which is nice. Very nice. Now, I think I should put my most prized weapon somewhere over here, because I'm not really using it right now. And I kind of need the bucket so I can make some things. I think we're going to make a combination oven today. I kind of want to get a combination oven. We're pretty nice and equipped. And another thing to know is that the nether isn't actually as bad as it is in the 112 version. Because you don't get radiation poisoning, yet you just get burnt a lot by blazes. It's, it's basically vanilla. It's not a problem at all. Of course, I don't actually have a sword. And I think I should probably get a sword. Might as well do that right now. Just stop making a sword. So yes, for a combination oven, you need four blaze powder. But this, this is no problem. All we have to do... We have lava over there. What am I doing? I'm, I'm dumb. I'm, I'm going to the other place, which is far from our way. <laughs> Might as well go back now, <laughs> seeing as we've already came this far. Uh, don't worry, though. We're gonna get to the nether. And you all know what the nether's like. But it's a, it's a bit different with HBM mod. Man, this this isn't lava, this is dirt. This, this is just dirt. Where, where's the lava? I've been lied to. There, there is no lava here. I was about to jump in, but, uh... There's lava there. I, I ain't jumping into that. Nice. Now, once you have a titanium pickaxe or a steel pickaxe, you should be able to mine this stuff. It's recommended to get a drill or just advanced alloy because then you'll be able to mine all of the obsidian all at once, which is nice. Maybe we should make some advanced alloy. That would probably be a good idea. Ah, I found a straggler, a little piece of lava that just wants to remain and kill you when you, when you don't expect it. So I, I gotta get, like, how many pieces- th This is gonna be the episode where we just mine obsidian. What am I doing? Why am I mining obsidian for an episode? This is so dumb. Maybe I should have lava casted the portal, but no. No, I chose this instead. This is taking absurdly long. Does this not work with this? Hold on. Alright, I got my obsidian, got my cobblestone. I'm ready to go. Where am I going? Out, out this hole, because this is the only exit I see. Uh, do I want to use dirt? Because dirt is kind of valuable. 
Probably not. I probably also want to run this way, because I see the enemies are over that way. And, uh... Well, if you want, you're wondering why, what, what the enemies are, then I just, just watch the last episode, we'll explain everything. We'll even explain the intro to today's episode, where I just, like... It's like, what the heck? You know, I'll give you all a quick summary. Basically, there's a big number of insects, and they all want to invade. That's it. Okay, let's see. We got... My steel's done? It's already... Yeah, look. 12 ingots... 12, 12 pieces of steel. Uh, we, we still got some iron in there, so I might, might as well throw in some lignite to get that out. Uh, because carbon can't be poured out, so um, it, it, we won't have to deal with extra stuff in there. I don't want to have to deal with extra stuff in there. Get that out of here. Very nice. Okay. Uh, that's right, I said we we're going to the nether, and I, I don't know where to put the portal, so I guess I'm just putting it over here for now. Uh, I don't know. We're gonna put it in the corner. We don't have a floor yet. I need to get a floor, but I don't... I don't have time to build. Yeah, so if you pour acid on water, it vaporizes the water, apparently. Very interesting. Okay, so now, we need to get flint, and to get flint, we need gravel, and, uh... You can easily get gravel by turning your cobblestone into gravel in a shredder, which is why the shredder is nice. And I hate hidden gravel, because I've done this a lot. And it sucks. Like, I'm pretty sure Steve Minecraft's hands have broken by this point. We've been hitting gravel for like 10 years now. This is this is ridiculous. Every single Let's Play. I need flint. And it sucks. Hang on a second, this book just appeared in my inventory again. Uh, can I use this as fuel? Oh, I think I can. Well, I'll put that in the front slot. Very nice. Let's go and see what's in the nether. Um, I did make some plates, which doesn't really... Oh, Very nice plates we got here. We got uh, brimstone and fire. Very nice. Now, this stuff, don't touch it. It's dangerous. This stuff will also kill you. Don't touch it. Uh, those over there, don't touch them. Don't even get near those, honestly. Look at this thing. Don't get near that. That's going to kill you. It's also worth no... Okay, so... um. For some reason, it's been in peaceful mode this whole time. And that's just annoying. Because I thought it was in a regular difficulty at least. Now yes, it is It is quite convenient that it's been in peaceful mode the whole time. But I like to have fun, and playing in peaceful mode is not fun. Who does that? That's like, that's like playing in creative mode. There, there's no point in playing then. Just, what the heck? You just, don't do that, it's dumb. But uh, this is this is kind of my fault for for not actually checking to see if, if I don't even think I don't think the default setting is that the world is on uh, peaceful mode. But I don't know. Maybe I might have accidentally clicked it, like when I was making the world. Like I may have made a mistake that dumb. That that is that is disappointing and embarrassing. Oh no, it's weird. But regardless, let's make sure. Oh, there's not even an option to lock it. It kind of sucks. Well, dang, now I feel like I gotta start over because I was in peaceful mode. That kind of sucks. But, uh, I don't feel like doing that. I don't know. Well, now things are going. They're going pretty well. <laughs> look, at, look at this. We got, like, three blazes down there. Oh, my. Now, that I don't like fighting these guys, but, uh, you know, I'm getting pretty good at it. I've been doing this a while. Holy, what is that? What just hit me? What the heck? Why am I burning so bad? This is not good. I mean, Steve Minecraft walks around in the sun all day. I don't know how he doesn't get sunburnt. Okay. We're, 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 we're about to be killed. <laughs> this is a problem. Hopefully they don't drop down on me. That would be kind of bad. Give me some blaze rods now. Holy. Okay, there goes all of our stuff. Well, gee. My god, though, it was, in, it was in peaceful mode this whole time? I've been lied to. What the heck? Uh, I don't have any sticks, so I'm not gonna make anything. I don't need any tools. All I need is my bare hands and a bit of luck. I mean, how are we supposed to be playing HBM mod if it's in peaceful mode? What the heck? Why? <laughs> also, something I probably shouldn't have done was jump towards the lava. <laughs> that is the dumbest idea. I'm pretty sure all of this stuff is gonna be thrown down off the cliff. Maybe not. Uh, uh, but most of it is. Seems like most. Most of my stuff is gone. Into the lava. 
which kind of sucks. But I, I, I don't have a choice. Okay, I, I don't got any options here. Um, I think some of it's probably still back up there. We gotta fight this guy with a stick, though. I need the blaze rod, boys. This was back when the nether was still traversable. You could still walk around it because it wasn't just a bunch of, like, floating archipelagos. Well, dang, we lost a bunch of stuff, including the template folder, which I probably should have left behind. But that's fine, because I don't really care if we lose anything. We, we, we can just make it again. Who, who cares about losing stuff? <laughs> Let's go ahead and uh, make some new armor here. As you can see, we're making things again. Now, we're going to go full suit of armor this time. Do I need... I need boots. That's what I need. Okay, boots. Full set of armor so we get damage bonus. A slap the Matron. And uh, leave this thing here because I don't want to lose that. And put those back. And then we ha Oh, and we don't lose these either. We probably need a pickaxe too. I don't care. And I'm pretty sure some of my stuff is probably still back up on the thing. I, I mean, I hope it is. It would be kind of nice to get some of that back. Especially the template folder. Of course, I, I don't expect to be getting anything. So, um, yeah. You know, this always ends badly for me. Every single time we go to the nether, I end up dying some way or another. <laughs> I mean, should we be able to two-hit these guys? I think. I think I can two-hit this guy. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Got all of our stuff back. Because none of it fell off the cliff, apparently. Oh, that guy's a little angry, but I don't care. I got a blaze rod. I think that's gonna... That's not gonna do. We need two of them, don't we? Why am I not regenerating health? What is this? This is so bad. It, it, it's, it's not playing the animation when you regenerate health, and we're going really slowly. Give me your blaze rod. Let me get out of here, and let me go quick. Let me get out of here fast. I got what I need, so I'm good. I'm getting out of here. So this thing we're making is gonna require another uh, firebox as well. Now I'm using fireboxes because I don't know, I don't know about you all, but uh, fireboxes are actually way better. And I, I didn't realize this at the time, but you you get a firebox and that thing is gonna be going super fast. So I'm thinking we get rid of all of these guys, maybe use them for boilers or something later on. But we use fireboxes for now. Well, it looks like we got all the important stuff back. Okay, I, I meant to say heating oven, but I just messed it up and said, uh, fireboxes? Well, we already have fireboxes. Um, they are very slow, but they last forever. So, uh, fireboxes are nice for, like, cokers and things like that. Not really for, uh, what is it? Power generation or boilers or anything like that. I, well, actually, maybe for... Certain boilers should use that, but not all of them. Like, if you're generating power directly from the coal, from a boiler, then uh, that's when you want to use a heating oven. But if you're not doing that, then use a firebox instead, because you just need a slower thing. It's a, st a stack of iron. Iron powder. Uh, uh, yeah, that kind of sucks. Losing a stack of iron powder is losing a lot of valuable stuff. Did I- I didn't bring the steel- thank goodness I didn't bring these with me, because that- that- No, that would be a big problem. But I think we got everything we need to make our first ash box. In fact, I got enough to make two of them. So let me- let me demonstrate the power of these guys. I think we can just slap them right down underneath these. And oh my, this is a- uh, this is gonna be kind of a- uh, interesting, because I- I've used these before, but like, not much. Like, I only first tried them out today, that's what I mean. <laughs> so I got my shovel back, because I, I- this- that's like the most important thing, and I lost my shovel. <laughs> yeah, that's so important. I gotta make a new one. I, I'm still mad I was in peaceful mode. So, somebody lied to me. Okay, there we go. Boom. Ash pit, and we got this thing on top. Let's do some smelting, and making some, uh, some, uh, wait, did I lose charcoal too? <laughs> that would kind of suck. I think the charcoal is just over. Oh, they die in that thing? That, that's crazy. I thought they were fireproof. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to get his, his remains out. Okay, I think that works. Uh, j just go in there. Get in there. Make some good old steel. Now, as you can see, it's burning fuel. What's going to happen is once that fuel is done burning, I'm going to get something called ashes.
I hope. I don't know if it works with these things. I think it works with the heating ovens. Don't know about these, so... We're gonna find out if this works with that. Now, I didn't get anything from that, so I'm thinking that these fireboxes are just garbage. Oh, bro, is trying to, trying to kill me here. Okay, get out of here. Do I have any ashes yet? Oh, it's, it burnt the book. <laughs> I don't think these give any ashes off. I think that it has to be like coal or charcoal, but let's make the next thing. Okay, so we're gonna need a heating oven, which is four and a bunch of these. So, uh, one, two, three, four. That's a bunch of steel going down the drain, especially to replace these guys. But I think you can just disassemble these things at some point. I don't know. No, you can't. I wish you could. But no, you better make sure you don't make these garbages. And also not to be attacked by these fellas. Skelebob. Now the thing is, if you don't got a lot of steel, these guys are very cheap. <laughs> and I'm missing something. What am I missing? I don't think I'm missing anything. I got tennies. Oh, well, that's the... That's what I'm missing, clearly. Um, and look here, we got a piece of ash. I don't know what this is good for. It's a coal ash, so I guess lignite does work. It just uses, or yields less ash. Now the question is, what can I do with a coal ash? I don't got a clue, you can use it as dye, I guess. But I know you can make it into fuel. And it only requires one for coal ash, and it smells, it looks like, a single item? Maybe 16? I don't know. Don't have a clue. How much is this worth? I know that this one is worth garbage. Okay, now it's time for a combination. I need stone bricks for this. You kidding me? I don't like making stone bricks. You, you know how often I have to make stone? I have to make it for like every single recipe. I've started a little mine down here just digging for stone. I, I should probably go mining again. It's just been a while, and I haven't had time. Well, I guess while we're waiting on that, I'll give you all a quick demonstration of the heating oven. Now, the heating oven's amazing, because you can technically stack a firebox under it if you have these things collected, because you did what I did, and was were kind of dumb. But, uh... I used to hate these things, because they I thought they would consume extra fuel, and that's the, that was my problem with them. But no, they're just faster. <laughs> so here's a demonstration of the heating oven. So one piece of coal, and it's going over speed. It's going over speed. That is not good. <laughs> Look how fast it's going. 500 thermal... Did <laughs> you see that? It's over speed. Very nice. Now the good thing is, if you want to go really over speed, what you do is... Shove in... A couple logs in there, and you shove in a log up here, and you're going 500 TU. Holy. And of course, you're only getting 50% of the actual energy out of this one, so, um, I don't know if it's great to use both. I recommend only using heating ovens if you're gonna use heating ovens. Like, use like three of them, you could probably do that and it would work still. You'd probably not be getting much out of that third one, but, uh, you're getting a lot of energy out of that. Whereas this guy, you don't get much out of him, and when you put him through this guy, you get absolutely nothing from him. But I don't feel like going over speed on this thing, because I don't want this thing blowing up my other thing. There's, there's a lot of things I don't want to have in there. And I got a combination of them now, so you're all gonna get to see how fast this guy goes when you shove a heating oven underneath him. So first, we're gonna place down our ash pit, and as you can see, there's this thing in the center. Collects all the ash. Don't know what that was. Then <laughs> heating oven. Then combination. I said com combination oven. And we're set. So now what happens is we put this in. Then we take our charcoal out of the furnaces because we're gonna use it in this guy. Shove it in there. And as you can see, 500 thermal units is a lot of thermal units. And this guy is gonna be churning out charcoal. And this guy is gonna be churning out ash. But we're also getting another byproduct called wood oil, which is flammable, provides 110,000 thermal units per tick, which is... I don't know if it's good. I don't think that's very good because I feel like unsaturated hydrocarbons are good. And they aren't even the best, you see? 
You see, okay, I would consider petroleum, liquid petroleum gas is incredible, right? Because it's 9 million HE, or 9 mil, or 3 point, why is it inverted? I don't understand. But it is, it's 3 million thermal units per tick, which is uh, way better than this. It's like 300 times what this can do, I think. Or, no, 30 times, I think. But then we got something that's 60 times better, which is coal gasoline. And that's something you're gonna get late game. Now, as you can see, this guy, once he reaches max yellow, he'll be fully charged and you won't have to like, he won't be consuming fuel anymore. Of course, he's gonna still be making ash. All right, so I'd like to thank you all for watching me make a combination of them. I'll see you all next time. And hopefully, we'll get started on the chem plant.